I'm a scientist. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm actually somewhat of a genius. So, um, yes. Uh, I would love to instruct you guys on just how to do some of these things that I'm quite good at. You see, being a scientist is very difficult work and you actually have to know a lot of things. So, I'd like to just go through with you a couple very easy, simple experiments that you can do at home. So, the first one involves a rubber glove like this. Make sure it's got a nice elasticity to it. And now you see if I hold it up to my light over here, it actually changes the light and makes it a little bit more blue. Isn't that cool? So, what you can do is you stick your hand in it like this. Okay. And then what you want to do is if you get some lotion and you put it on the glove, okay? like this that actually what it does is it makes it fireproof and I can prove this really easily by just taking a lighter here and see that nothing happens look I watch I'll show you again ow Get off of me, glove. Crap. That's all slippery. Ha! <laughs> I can't get it off. <sighs> it's... Okay. So when you get the glove off, what you can actually do is... You can take it and then... I actually happen to have some water back here. So, what you can do with this is you put the glove over top of the water bottle and you do this and you want to get some water in there see it filling up the finger of the glove maybe Okay, when you have water in there, what you want to do is you want to take it and just make sure there's no leaks. Okay. Now, since there's water in it, let, let me blow it up. Okay. So. Now that there's water in it, and it's inflated, ah, it's inflated, you tie it, like this, okay, and then you have a water bottle, and it's nice and refreshing, and you can cool yourself off really easily. It's kind of like a fan, but with an air conditioner built in. And now, since it has that nice coating of moisture from the lotion, and it's got the cold water inside of it, it should be perfectly fireproof. It's not doing anything to the glove, so it's fireproof now. So in theory, if you were to wear this glove right now, then your hand would be perfectly fireproof. And then also, another thing you can do, you can poke a hole in the finger of the glove, which I'm not going to do this, because I don't like water. But you could poke a hole in the finger of the glove, and you could drink from it, kind of like a cow water. And for the next thing, the next experiment I have for you guys to try 
is if you actually take a little bit of this and you just coat your tongue in it. You actually can't taste anything. You can eat whatever you want. And you're not going to be able to taste it. It's really cool. And it's completely... Uh... Yeah, it's dermatologist tested, so that means it's safe for teeth, because the dermatologist, that's the one that works on the teeth. Uh, so I'm pretty sure it's perfectly fine just to eat. But don't don't you take my word for that or anything. Let me see if it says non-toxic, because this is supposed to be on skin. But, you know, if you coat your tongue in it, you actually can't taste anything. Uh, keep out of reach of children for external use only. Avoid contacts with eyes. If swallowed, get medical help or contact poison control oh it doesn't taste bad though it doesn't taste poisonous ah, 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 ah. Ah. and paper like this absorbs poison if you eat paper It absorbs poison. The paper absorbs all the harmful chemicals. Now that I put that on my tongue, is my tongue fireproof? No. That's hot. Wow. It's like putting your face in an oven. Ugh. Okay. Now my next experiment for you. I have some olive juice. Some nice olive juice here. Nice and cold to keep it fresh. Give it a slap. I like my olive juice slapped, not shaken or stirred. Okay, open that. Open the olive jar. First try. And then I have lemon juice, okay? And these are both things that are very good together. Like, here, let me give you an example. Very good. This, also really good. But, when you mix them together, they form a chemical reaction. So, let's do this. Get a little bit of lemon juice on this lid, okay? Now it doesn't take too much. You don't want to cause an explosion, just a little, little bit of foam. Okay? So then, what you want to do is you get your olive juice and you pour that in there. Okay? And then you stir it. Alright? Like this. And I can't even taste it because of that hand lotion. It's really coating the tongue very nicely. But, so you see it's absolutely not doing anything right now. That's because it forms the chemical reaction inside the body. So what you gotta do is you gotta just ingest it. And it wakes you right up. Right up. Right up. Ugh. See, I was really tired beforehand. After that, no such thing. It's the acidity. Just wakes you right up. Right up. So another thing you can do, I'm gonna put a bit more lemon juice in there. And a little bit more olive juice. So now, if you wanna replicate on the outside the chemical reaction that's going on on the inside, all you have to do all you have to do is heat it. That should be good. Feel it. Yeah, that's quite warm now. Yeah. And then you swallow it.
That's good stuff. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm like a. What do you think? Fine, I'll do it. Ah! Bad. But it does really stop you from feeling, though. Oh, I got a drop here. This can also be used as sunscreen. So, if you just put it on your face, like this and just have a nice thick coating, the sun won't hit you. Let me test it with this light. See if this light, can you see it on there? Hmm? See if this light gives me a sunburn. Did it work? I'm not seeing any burnage, so it must have worked. It works good as anything that blocks the skin and covers the skin makes an excellent sunscreen. So that's another tip for you. Uh, if you run out of sunscreen, normal sunscreen, anything that will block your skin will work just fine. So now back to the udder, or well, the glove. But it looks like an udder, like it looks like you just milk it, milk it like a cow. So if you grab this end here, and let's say uh, you have a knife, and you just poke this top part here with a knife, it punctures a hole in it. But you see, as long as the knife's in there, the air doesn't deflate. So this is why uh, people, if you get a stab wound, always make sure you keep the sharp object in you because it stops things from leaking out as quick all right that's another pro tip you learned it here first folks or maybe not maybe you learned it somewhere else and then I'm just repeating it but it's a good thing to know okay so there's our puncture wound all right all right there there's our puncture wound now let me get my bottle back Mm. always recycle so you just want to dump the water back where it came from you always want to put the water back to where it came that's recycling all right and if you don't recycle you're terrible you're a bad person and no one loves you I'm kidding so yeah there's that and I'm not gonna drink this water because it's actually been in this bottle for a couple months and it's probably got terrible diseases and bacteria in it. Did you know that even clean fresh water, if it sits long enough, uh, can get diseases? Oh, I have lotion on my trash can. I must have missed it when I spit. Oh, there's more of it. Well, you know what they say about recycling. Reduce and reuse. There we go. And that's the end of today's science experiment. It's raining. <laughs> cool, huh? And that's been the end, folks. Hit the, no. Hug the like button. And uh, hug the subscribe button. And go karate chop a comment. Chop, 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 chop. Right down there. Karate chop it. Okay? Thanks for watching. Goodbye.
Goodbye. Uh-oh.